In this video, I'm going to show you a technique to get the top five values per group. And that means that it could be the top five customers per employee or the top five uh, revenue locations per branch. Uh, something to that effect. And for those of you that haven't uh, had experience with the top values before, the, the problem revolves around the fact that you can actually come up here and change this query to show instead of all the top five values, right? And so what I can do is I can say group customer, sum the revenue, sort descending, and make that five, and that's going to give me the top five customers. Well, if you bring down employees, you were hoping to get the top five customers per employee, but if you run the query, it's still going to give you the top five employee customer combination. So how do you take this particular query and turn it into a situation where you get the top five customers per employee? Well, the solution isn't all that straightforward, but it's not all that hard either. So let's go ahead and get started by starting off a very new query. So I'm going to go to Queries, New, Design View, and bring in the table that I want to work with. And this is Main 2. So I want Employee, Customer, and Revenue for my main table. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a new table here, and this table that I'm going to bring in is called Employees. Now the reason I'm bringing in an Employees table is because I want the top five customers per employee. If you were getting a top five customers per branch, you would bring in a branch table, or the top ten products per order ID, we would bring in a products table. So what's in this Employees table? Well, it's nothing more than a unique list of all the employees that I have in my data set. And if you were working with branches, it would be a unique list of branches. Products, a unique list of products. Okay, so now it's time to actually build the piece that will get me my top five per employee. Um, I'm going to expand this out because what I have to do is put in a criteria under customer. Uh, and it's going to be under customer because this is what I'm trying to get the top five of. If you were trying to get top five of locations, you would put this criteria under locations. And I'm going to type in an in select statement. And that basically means that whatever criteria I type in here, this customer ha has got to be in that particular select statement. So I'm going to type in in to start it off in open parentheses. Okay, so now I'm going to type in a select statement. I'm going to select top five main to customer from main to let's stop here for a second so what does it say this is saying that I want to select the top five customer from main to alright where employees employee equals main to employee basically saying that I want to select the top five customers from main to where the employee field of the employees table, which is this table, is equal to the employees field of the main two table. Okay? Then I'm going to say order by revenue descending. That way, when I say get the top five, it will truly be the top five revenues. Uh, because I'm ordering by the revenue descending. Okay, now if I run this query, it should run perfectly. Oh, I'm getting an error here. Invalid bracketing of name main two. Okay, so that means that the bracket here is wrong. All right, run it. Perfect. So now I've got the top five customers for every employee. Let's go ahead and do some little something to fix the sorting on this thing. Uh, I'm going to sort ascending by customer and descending by revenue. That way it looks a little bit easier to read. And again, you'll see Andrew Fuller. This is the top five customers for Andrew. 
and Dodsworth top five for free and and I can go ahead and change this to top now that I've got this built I can change this to top uh, three let's say and it'll give me the top three and like I said it's not very straightforward but it's not very hard either and I'm sure if you uh, took a little bit of time to take a look at what's actually going on here you can really easily get the grasp of uh, how to do this